this is your captain speaking, and today we're playing more RimWorld. Now, if you'll remember, at the end of the last episode, I caught Raph the Brawler. Now, I think maybe my town needs more people in it, so I'm going to try to recruit this guy, and there are multiple different interactions what I could do to recruit him. Oh, look at that music coming in. That's beautiful. Uh, I can give him a friendly chat, a mild beating, or a vicious beating. I'm gonna go with the vicious friendly chat. Alright. You got my people peacefully working over here. I'm going to build a cafeteria, because I feel bad for my people. They eat nothing but raw food all the time. And... I don't know if that's healthy for you. Unless you're, like, on the paleo diet or something, but I don't think that's supposed to be totally raw. Ugh. Paleo diet is supposed to be really good for you, though. I should probably try that, but I don't really have the patience for, like, going out of my way for that kind of stuff. You know, like, being a ve I tried being a vegetarian once for a week, and it was, like, the most miserable week of my life. It was, it was pretty awful. I hated it a lot. I just, like... I got angry, because I wanted to eat all the hamburgers in the world. Hmm. It's probably not healthy. Alright, um... I'm going to go ahead and plop down a nutrient... I guess I can't place it right there, that's weird. Gonna go ahead and plop down a nutrient paste dispenser right there. And some hoppers. So my people can actually make meals and eat good food. See, I think this right here is the boundary for where I can build stuff, or... Well, that doesn't seem to make sense. But I couldn't build the nutrient paste dispenser. Maybe I just had to... Oh, it's because of the cable that was in the way. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I can probably get rid of that now. Um, so, I'm going to order my people to haul this shit out of here, because it's just making a mess, and they need to clean their rooms like any good kid would. I'm just kidding. I never cleaned my room when I was growing up. Fuck that shit. Ah, fantastic. Now they're making food. Perfect. Um, so that is the cafeteria. I've got to start making my houses look better, because they all look like absolute crap. Uh, they just covered in dirt and gravel all over the floor. So I'm going to go to... Where is it? Oh floors, and I'm going to change up their floors. So this is going to be stone tile. Um, this house is going to be metal tile, because it's a future space house. And I'm just going to make these metal tiles too, because I um, like the industrial look. I think, I think it's very metal. Oh no. Now it's going to be a little segment of stuff that's not going to be paid here. Ah, cancel. So I don't have those six little boxes just annoying me. And I got a bunch of little, um, like, rocks sitting in my cafeteria. I want to get rid of those so I can set down a table and some chairs and maybe give them a nice little living space to, uh, go and eat their meals in. I like how Raph, the prisoner, is just getting up and walking around. He's like, man, these guys are pretty hard-ass. I mean, they have a geo geothermal geyser in their prison. It's pretty hot in here, too. It's like a sauna. Some kind of form of torture, because it's strangely relaxing. What an odd but awesome people. See, and he'll go back to his tribe one day and be like, oh, there's a, that's another storm. Fantastic. He'll go back to his tribe one day and he'll be like, oh, shit. Fire! No! There's a fire! I have to take care of the fire! Um, so... I have to set a home region, and that is a region in which they will put fires out in. So, hey, could you, could you go, like, make sure all of our stuff doesn't burn down, please? Thank you, that would be fantastic. Alright, that was a bit of a close call, but they are all stomping on the fire. Like, if there's a, like, a brush fire or anything, uh, that's my first instinct. instinct is go and jump into it, and, uh, hopefully not die, but probably die. Ooh! Uh-oh. A group of raiders from the Slicers have arrived nearby. That sounds like a serious gag. They're attacking immediately. Holy crap. They can't just do that. When's that... No, when's that been a thing? So, um... 
Yeah, I have Neil the Escapee over here, quickly charging towards my colony with a pistol in hand. This guy must think he's a big badass. He might actually be a big badass, and he might destroy all my people. But I'm gonna hold out on that being unlikely. I'm gonna send Margarita, the badass punk rocker chick with the Lee Enfield out here to stand by my solar panels and just wait. In case the turrets don't take him out first. Oh! Wow! He died really fast. Well, better get rid of the body then. Wow. I got another message. An AR researcher, researcher from Village at the Mountain is visiting the colony. He is named Dave Foxmuck. Jump to location. Oh, he's... Oh, he's bald. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I, I'm currently bald. His uh, childhood was an awkward nerd. I know the feeling, and he's... Adulthood is an AI researcher. I don't know the feeling, but it must be a pretty good job. Sounds really cool. Trades nightmares and horrible hangovers. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. I'm sorry. Male human town guard. I don't get that. It says it was an AI... Whoa, he's got 14 research. Okay. I kind of want to recruit him, but I don't know how to do that without arresting him. So... <laughs> I like how this brush is all burning over here. Hopefully it doesn't spread to my camp. I think we'll be fine. I'm also going to collect this silver over here, because we have a shit ton of silver. We have 1,543. We are balling. That is official baller status, I think. I don't know what that means entirely, but I think it means we have a lot of money. Margarita, you did a great job not really shooting anybody, but, you know... It's better to have a gun and not need one than to need a gun and not have one. Oh, great, it's fucking raining again. Fantastic, just what I want. More rain. I'm going to start building lights, because it must be dark in my guy, people's houses. My people of various genders and ethnicities. Actually, they all... Mm, yeah. Various genders and ethnicities. Fantastic. Oh, this building doesn't appear to be getting the power. Okay. I can fix that. Bup, 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 bup. Power conduit. Put this across here. I am going to make a research laboratory, but I'm kind of out of space in this part of the map. Oh wait, I could build down here, but then it will be protected by my base, and I can't build anything by heat down here because, well, actually that seems like a boundary. Okay, I'll build my research lab right down here, in this little stuggly corner. And it's gonna be, I guess, kind of metropolitan clustered together. So yeah, we're already going for the whole metropolitan theme. I'm just gonna build a full wall down here to block that whole thing off, just so we never have to worry about anybody sneaking through this little crack up here. Or down here, I should say. Gonna get my guys building on that. Somebody, um, okay. Margarita, since you are a total badass and you don't mind doing the dirty work, could you please just haul this corpse away? He's starting to stink up the place. I don't think I have a dumping pile. That's probably why my people aren't hauling anything. Good job, Damien. Alright, uh, zones? Dumping stockpile. Um, this is gonna be my dump over here. Yeah. Now, Margarita, would you, would you kindly... I can't figure out how to do this. Oh, man. Okay. Take you off that. Ah, prioritize, uh, hauling Neil. Thank you. Please haul Neil. Fantastic. Now, it's time for them to settle down. We've actually got lights in my town now. I think the prisoner might deserve a light. I don't know if that's... Is that, like, in the Geneva Convention that a uh, war prisoner needs light? Pretty sure it would be, because it seems pretty inhumane to have somebody live without light at all. That kind of... Being in the darkness for that long messes with the mind and the body in severe ways. I don't have a door on my research lab yet. I like how I pre-name the buildings before they're done building. Okay. I'm going to get a little light in the corner, and I'm going to put a, um... What is it? Where is it? door right here so they can enter from there 
Ah, this is a nice little look of just stuff down here. There is a dead squirrel in Margarita's house. Margarita, I realize you might have been hungry, but, you know, cook, either cook that shit at some point, don't eat it raw, that's gross, or throw it away, throw it in the dumping pile. Ah, uh, I shouldn't be making margaritas, uh, margarita clean by yourself. That's just... A, it's a little bit sexist, and I don't appreciate that. So, Pug, I'm gonna need you to start cleaning up... Oh. Pug is not a cleaner. Grim? You start hauling shit. Thank you, Grim, the Marine. Marines clean a lot, too. I'm just setting a bad example for myself here. Holy crap. Okay. Fail to recruit Pug. Ah, dang it, Pug. Pug, why aren't you recruiting this prison? Ooh, something happened. You have detected a skate pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. Oh no, it's Big Red. He seems to be bleeding out of the ground. He's incapacitated. He's a spacer. Jackson Big Red Hightower. Male human space refugee, age 28. Um... What are his skills? He's got pretty good construction skill, but everything else is a bunch of bogus. Crafting's okay, too. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna arrest this guy, because what fucking nerve does this man have crash landing on my shitty little piece of dirt colony relative area? I could capture him or arrest him. I'm gonna capture him. I don't know what the implications of that are. But, Margarita, badass punk rocker chick with a gun, go over here and capture Big Red. Save his life. Bring him into the colony and we will have beautiful successes. I'm gonna not see... Hmm. That's a good idea. I need to start building homes for my new colonists, too. So, I guess I'm just gonna expand this, like, little cluster of homes here. Uh, structure metal wall. Uh, I'm just gonna make a hallway, I guess. Like, I'll do it like this. Yeah? I guess this is all gonna be one interconnected structure now. Okay. Um, one, one's gonna be a bit bigger than the others. Ah, uh, that corner kinda takes it out of it. Okay. Uh, Door, 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 and door to the outside. Ah, oh, man, my people have got their work cut out for them, and they don't appear to have any metal. I haven't mined anything in a while. That's why I haven't been building. All right, uh, orders. I need you guys to do me a solid and start mining. Where is a good place for resources? I could go up there and get the little outcropping, but I don't feel comfortable sending them that far out of the colony. There's some resources down here, so I'm gonna have them go for that, and maybe just expand the size of this room in general. Uh, there are also some more resources down here, which I could just have them dig to, and I guess expand this room, even though I can't really do anything with that because it's too close to the map limit. Um, Big Red is it currently a prisoner. I don't see why, because he seems like a pretty nice guy who just fell out of the sky. Uh, Bruce Banner fell out of the sky in the first Avengers movie, and he has his tendency to be kind of a meanie, but he's ultimately a nice guy. Come on, please recruit him. That'd be great. I'd be really happy if you did, Puck. <laughs> Failed to recruit Raph again. Gosh dang it. Alright. I'll just have my, um... I'll just build some more beds in this room over here if I can find the goddamn bed. There we go. What? Oh, the wire's in the way again. All right. Bed, bed. Standing lamp, standing lamp. Hmm. Where did I build the research facility? Ah, oh, yes, down here. Research. Um. I guess this could go in the kitchen. I don't really know what these do. I guess that one's for hunting. And this one's for cooking. I already told you to haul this shit. Why haven't you done it yet? Come on. Haul. Haul ass. Haul rocks. Hallmark. Sponsored by Hallmark. No, I'm not. 
What a weird thing for Hallmark to possibly ever want to sp sponsor, anyway. Oh, Grim, please don't... Please don't lock yourself outside again. Oh, okay. A group from Village of the Mountain are visiting the colony. Oh, Floater. His name is Floater. What an unfortunate name. I'm sorry, your parents are terrible people. And Caro. And Jesse. Ah, uh, I have no interest in them, really. Ooh. Ah, they're building a lot, actually. I'm proud of you guys. Let's just see what I can get done during this time. I'm just gonna... Is there anyone to interact with them? I want to find that out. Margarita. You're my favorite character at this point. Can you, like, go talk to these guys? Draft? Arrest. Arrest. Okay, is there no, like, just, like, talk about sports or, like, video games or even porn with these people? Wait, is Grim technically outside? I just never put a door on that, I guess. That's weird. Oh, no, there's a door there. I think. Space already occupied. It says there's a door there. Okay. That's fine, game. Fucking just confuse the shit out of me. I suppose that we're fine. Um, I'm gonna build some more turrets, though, for when more raiders come, which they inevitably will. There are always more raiders. Uh, I appear to have a fairly good power grid, as is, but it kinda tends to run out during the night time. That might be a problem. Alright, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and or subscribe. This is your captain, signing off.